Hello everyone and welcome to the gun deck. In this video today we will be demonstrating the loading procedures of an 18th century sea service gun. We have here the basic tools needed for loading a gun, the worm, the sponge, the ramrod, and here we have a ladle used in the period before felt powder cartridges. This over here is known as the touch hole reamer. We also have a small ladle, in this case used for priming this model gun. Before we can start the loading procedure, the gun needs to be run inboard, in which case the secured tackles and breaching are to be cast off and the gun run inboard. Once the gun has been run inboard, we can commence with the loading procedure and we start with the gun been wormed. Using the worm, we will remove any smouldering remnant of the felt cartridge of the previous shot. Once the worming is completed, the gun will be sponged or swabbed by using a thoroughly wetened sponge, which will then finally extinguish any smouldering remnants remaining in the gun barrel. The gun is now ready to be loaded, and a pre-made felt powder cartridge will be brought to the gun in a leather powder canister by a powder monkey. This will be inserted into the barrel mouth along with a wadding, which was often a section of hawser tied off and cut into appropriate sections. This would all then be rammed home. You may have noticed me using my thumb to close the vent hole or touch hole during ramming or sponging. This is another means to uh, make sure that any smouldering embers lingering in the barrel will die. A round shot would now be inserted into the barrel mouth, along with a wadding, and this again to be rammed home. Before the advent of priming calls, the gun captain would prime the gun with a powder horn. However, during the Napoleonic era, goose calls were prepared and priming powder was inserted into them which made a ready-to-use priming charge, which was then inserted into the vent or touch hole. But before that, the main charge has to be pricked using the reamer. The gun is now ready to be primed, and in this case, with a small model, it'll be primed by using fine powder in the small ladle. The gun is now fully loaded and ready to be fired. On the instruction of the gun captain, the gun would be run out. In its run out position, the gun's traverse could be altered by using hand spikes and manhandling the gun in this fashion. Similarly, the gun's elevation would be altered by using hand spikes as well and then adjusting the elevation coin once the suitable position has been found. The gun is now fully ready to fire and the gun captain would discharge the piece with his flintlock mechanism. On the up roll, fire! <laughs> Once the gun is discharged, the whole process will start over again. The gun will be wormed and then sponged, and the whole procedure would follow as before. Thank you very much for watching. This is Old Gunner, and take care. Cheerio.